Hello guys, I hope everybody is doing okay in this pandemic of hell. Today I wanted to bring a video about the exercises or the things that I'm doing right now uh, to move from what I consider a beginner guitar player to an intermediate level. So let's jump right into it. So the first thing I still do, I don't know if you watched my previous video about uh, beginner exercises, so I'm still doing my go up in the neck. So in the previous video I put an exercise like this. So I modified it a little bit uh, based on what I found uh, in some channels. So what I do right now is I do this. Until, until the end of the neck. The, uh, the second exercise for, for alternate picking that I'm doing, I'm, I've been doing a lot, uh, is the same as before. So it's the exercise that I mentioned in the previous video. So I'm trying to increase speed and reduce the number of mistakes that I do. Uh, it's very good for a warm up and uh, at the end of the session also to, to close it. But the new exercises that I included uh, in my routine, so it's one for alternate picking and another one for swift picking. And these are the ones that I want to show today. So for alternate picking, I took from, uh, from Bernd's uh, YouTube channel. He's a very, very good guitar player uh, on the shred inside. This is what I'm searching for. I want to, to be able to shred. So I, f I have found him recently and uh, I've been following his free lessons on YouTube and considering to subscribe to his Patreon page because he's really, really good in my opinion. So for alternate picking, the exercise that he put on his channel, uh, it's, a, it's a sweet pick picking pattern but using only alternate picking. So let's do it. I will do it without a metronome, then I will put a metronome to see what happens. That's the pattern. So I took a lot of time to to memorize it, but I still make mistakes on the pattern itself. But I've been practicing a lot. I noticed it has improved my alternate picking, especially going up and down on the strings. So I'm gonna do with the metronome. Okay, so it's 120 beats per minute. Forty. 
160 160 per minute it's still very very dirty especially with distortion I on these exercises I always play with distortion to see if I can what kind of mistakes I do and this is one of the things that I consider a beginner does a lot like we do mistakes we don't play cleanly and that's what I'm be, I've been trying to improve and I can transform this one into sweep picking because it's a technique that is very powerful especially especially on the shredding side so let's let's do it I'm at the very very beginning of learning sweep picking so everything is really bad but that's the way we push ourselves right we have to push with the metronome One hundred and ten. Let's see if I can play cleanly. Of course, the objective is to play this uh, fast in the future. I don't know how much time I'm gonna need to improve my speed and play it cleanly, again cleanly, without uh, rubber bands or elastic bands or whatever. And the second sweep picking exercise that I'm doing, it's also from Bernd and it goes more or less like this. <laughs> Now with the metronome. 110 BPM. Increase the speed. 
130. And that's it. These are the four exercises that I've been doing a lot these uh, past two, let's say, three or four months. I don't have a lot of time to play every day. I play maybe half an hour, one hour tops. Uh, but doing a little bit every day, I'm, I'm seeing the, the improvements. And of course, I'm learning songs because we have to apply these concepts, right? Uh, only playing up and down the neck is not, is not funny. So I'm I'm trying to learn as many musics and as many songs that I, that I can. Now I have the bass, and if you can see the bass right there, so I'm learning how to play the bass as well. And I'm having a lot of lot of fun playing guitar now the bass. So that's that's what's important to me, and that's how I've been keeping my mind uh, during this pandemic and uh, learning songs, playing an instrument. It's very funny to do that. I hope this helps you in some way or another. Take good care of yourselves, wash your hands, and I'll see you next one. Cheers, guys.